Fils qui vous naît. Fils qui vous naît. Fils qui vous naît. So check this out, right? Joe Shane did exactly what I told you he was going to do a couple days ago. A couple days ago, when I dropped my video about Blake Martinez being released, I said there's only two people he can go to to restructure contracts because there's only three people on the team who make money. The only three players on the Giants who make money are Galladay, Leo, and Adoree. That's it. I don't know how Dave Gettleman fucked this cap up, and we only got three big contracts on the team. We need a 30 for 30 on Dave Gettleman because Joe Shane shouldn't be in this situation when his quarterback isn't paid. He doesn't have an edge rusher making money. I mean, he doesn't have a, a, a Jalen Ramsey level cornerback making money. His left or right tackle not making money. None of the big premier positions in the NFL are making money on the Giants, but yet we are poor. Dave Gettleman might be the worst general manager I've ever seen, which before I talk about Leonard Williams, when I did my Joe Shane video a couple days ago, I had a lot of y'all saying, you need to trust Joe Shane. He came from Buffalo. Look what they did in Buffalo, Fist. You got to trust Joe Shane. Well, I'm sorry. Didn't Dave Gettleman just go to a Super Bowl before we made him our general manager? Do y'all forget the 2015 Panthers was Dave Gettleman's team? The team, the Panther team that went to the Super Bowl with MVP Cam Newton, that was Dave Gettleman's team. It was, hell. Bradbury and Gano were Dave Gettleman draft picks, who he brought here from Carolina. So just because you were successful one place doesn't always mean you're going to be successful in the next. So it's no shot at Joe Shane because I rock with Joe Shane. I do. It just my criticism just seems a little bit harsher than most people's because I'm real like that. But at the end of the day, I fuck with Joe Shane. Joe Shane's done some good stuff. For this organization. And I appreciate him filling a lot of holes. But the whole purpose of my video last week. Is what Dave Gettleman did. Was get rid of all of our young players. In their primes. And instead of filling the holes. Like fixing the Eli Manning issue. Instead of giving Eli Manning an offensive line. He has to replace JPP. He has to replace Odell Beckham. He has to replace Jack Rabbit. So instead of. Coming in, keeping Odell, keeping JPP, keeping Jack Rabbit, keeping Snacks Harris. Instead of keeping our good players, he gets rid of them and he spends half of his tenure trying to replace them. I don't want Joe Shane to come in here, get rid of all our good players and spend half of his tenure trying to replace those good players. I want Joe Shane to plug the holes. We needed an edge rusher. We needed an offensive lineman. And that's what he did. Now he has to fix the linebacking core. Don't worry about other shit. Fix the problem. Don't create new ones. That was the whole purpose of last week's video. Now, as far as Leonard Williams goes, duh, I said it. He can, he really can only go to a Dory and Leonard because they're the only players that he's going to keep past 2022. When we get all this cap space next season, Giants fans, Galladay's hitting the road. Saquon may or may not be hitting the road. Daniel Jones, if he's not everything I said he is, he's going to be hitting the road. But a guy like Leonard Williams, he's going to be here. Adoree, he's going to be here. So you go to the guys that you know are going to be on the roster in 2023, and you restructure that contract, which brings me back to James Bradbury. Hey, Joe, or anybody listening to this video that can get this video to Joe so he can hear this. Question, why didn't you just do this shit with James Bradbury so we could have kept her from the Eagles? You had to hear the birdies. You had to hear the whispers that he would go to Philly. Why didn't you just keep James Bradbury and free up cap space by restructuring him and giving him a void here? What? Wh wh why? Our biggest concern right now was second corner. W who are we looking at? Fab, what is his name? Fab, M Fabio, M Monreal, whatever. The ex-Washington Commando, Cockroach, whatever the, the team name is. The Commies. 
<laughs> we looking at that guy for second corner right now because we don't have a second corner because Aaron Robinson getting lit up like July 4th every day in practice. So, I mean, and you know, it's another thing. I told y'all, I warned y'all about Aaron Robinson, by the way. All those training camp videos. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that Tony catch. Look at that Wandell catch. Look at that Galladay catch. I said, why the fuck is it always on Aaron Robinson? I said that before he got lit up in the preseason game. I said, why the fuck is every training camp highlight from a receiver, why is Aaron Robinson getting caught on? I said that. So I'm asking Joe Shane, why didn't we keep Bradbury? If you were going, if you knew you were going to have to restructure contracts, why couldn't we just keep Bradbury? Restructure Bradbury. Restructure Leonard Williams. Fuck it. The Saints and Mickey Loomis do this all the time. They made Taysom Hill one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the league, but gave him like five void years. I get you don't want to kick the can down the road, Joe, but you, you, Dave Gettleman left you up Shit's Creek without a paddle. It's not like Dave Gettleman left Joe Shane much of a choice. You know it's bad when Joe Shane has to cut players and we still don't have cap room. The dude got rid of Blake Martinez and we were still like 1.6 under the cap or something like that. I mean, at some point, man, it's like you got to think three steps ahead. I preached this, I preached this to y'all every chance I get. This is not a football mentality. This is a lifestyle. This is a way of life. This is how you become a better person. You need to think three steps ahead. There's been a couple situations where Joe Shane has failed to think three steps ahead. Not cutting Blake Martinez in March. That was a mistake. Not restructuring Bradbury. If you knew you were going to have to restructure a big contract down the road, you could have kept him from going to the Eagles. He could still be here. We wouldn't have the Aaron Robinson situation. That's a mistake. Not having faith in your head coach and your structure and your drafting of an offensive line and not having faith that Daniel Jones would improve and be worth a fifth year and not giving him that option was a mistake. So all this cap money that Joe Shane is going to be happy to have next season, Daniel Jones balls out. Instead of having him on a cheap fifth year option, you're going to have to put him on a salary cap. The franchise tax. So he'll be like $35 million towards the cap instead of like $20 million on the cap. That, that was a mistake. That's another corner. That's another offensive lineman. That's a fucking linebacker. You got to think three steps ahead of life, people. You got to think three steps ahead in life. You can't live your life day to day. You can't live in the moment. You got to think three steps ahead. Joe will get better at it. He's only made a couple mistakes. He's not, he ain't made a lot of them. But that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.